Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is styling mini skirts over the age of 50, really any age, for fall heading into winter. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, happy November, you guys. All right, so I am going to style four mini skirts for you um, in different ways, and uh, you really need just some basics, the essentials that you need. You need some jackets. So when I say jackets, I don't mean wool coats. I don't mean, you know, parkas. What I mean is jackets. So like blazer. Y'all should have a great black blazer in your wardrobe. You should have a couple. The other thing is a moto style jacket or a cropped jacket of some sort. I happen to like moto jacket. You could go with fur over um, as well. It just depends on where you're going and what you're doing. Thing is tights. What I love about loft tights, they are my favorite. One, they have a beautiful black, opaque, dark. It's just going to elongate the leg, keep you warm because they also have it in fleece as well. And they also have it in ribbed. And I'm gonna show you all of them. Uh, so you need tights. And then boots or booties. So uh, I'm gonna show you a variety because we could do over the knee boot, I will show you. Booties, I will show you. Uh, combat boots, I will show you. So I'm gonna show it to you all. The other thing is layering pieces. So like this is a basic layering piece. Start with the first look. You know, I'm just gonna do the one that I am uh, wearing because that's always easy for those of you that are new here everything that i'm wearing from necklace jewelry earrings will be listed in the description box if something is out of stock and i can find it by the same designer that's that's what i start with i try and find it with the same designer then it will just put similar uh if i can't find it by the same designer i usually put alternative um to give you that same look uh it's just not by the same designer uh, and my measurements are also in the description box as they are with every video. Let's start with what I'm wearing. I'm gonna show it to you first with a basic, not so basic, uh, turtleneck. And Okay, now the skirt, adorable. It's a faux leather. I'm very much into the leather this season. Leather is very hot this season and it also sells out very quickly. Love it high-waisted, pleated. My only rule for a mini skirt, it has to be below my fingertips. That's just my rule. Um, I personally don't think you should have any rules as long as whatever you're wearing makes you feel good, um, then that's your rule. <laughs> for me, though, fingertip length, I feel comfortable, especially when we're, I'm wearing tights. That's, that's not an issue. So I love it. The little faux pocket, they're not faux, the little pockets are actually uh, really there and usable if you wanted to put something in there, like a lipstick, I guess. I don't know, I like the smooth front of it and I like the pleating. These particular tights are the rib tights. I'll have to show you a picture because I don't think, yeah, if I stand up, it's not gonna be tall enough. Um, the rib tights, which are really cute because I like the contrast from the black leather to a little bit of contrasting uh, since we are all in black. Now, um, the boots that I'm wearing, naturalizer, and they are a combat boot. Um, I will try and find the naturalizer combat boot. If I can't, I definitely know. I think Vince Camuto, um, uh, I don't wanna say copied, but <laughs> copied this design. Um, so this is uh, my favorite boots. A lot of you may have picked them up at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I love them. Side zip. I will, again, these have come back in stock. So just look in the description box and I will tell you. Um, lace up. So if you have a wider uh, ankle, that's not an issue. I love the non-slip. I'm sorry, the grass is, I was out there freezing. It's 27 when I was out there and the grass had ice on it. Um, I like the two-tone. That is what makes this special, and that's why I know I can find it. And um, it's a great boot. 
the, if I can find it by Naturalizer, it's, they're incredibly comfortable. I mean, I wear them all the time. I've had them for about three years now. They are definitely a staple. Uh, the earrings are, I just put on a black matte hoop that actually has a little bit of bling to it. Almost looks like some gun metal, um, which is just a little bit different and I like it. And then just a little statement piece with the necklace. You could also, this is from White House Black Market. You could also go with the earrings. Uh, these ones might be sold out, but they go perfect because these are also White House Black Market. Uh, so that's how I would wear it um, if I was in the restaurant. Now we gotta get to the restaurant, so we need a great jacket. This is one of my favorite um, finds that I got this year, and it is a leather coat that's faux leather on the front and sweater on the back. I like that it's open. I actually don't mind that it's a box cut. I'm head to toe in black, you guys. So that makes it very slimming. Hence why I have rib tights to give texture and dimension. Um, so I love this. It's a beautiful jacket and it will keep you warm. So it's like a sweater jacket and it's great. Now, let's say you didn't want to do a leather jacket. You wanted to do, and you didn't want to do this. You wanted to do a sweater, um, a nice chunky knit sweater. That's great. Now for me, I have to wear, I have the prosthesis. I have to wear a cami underneath. So I always choose a little lace cami. And then this little sweater here, oh my gosh. This sweater is so cute, you guys. It's like a cardigan. I love the pattern. I love that it gives that dimension, and, but doesn't make you look bulky. Um, and I think it looks really good, and it's super, super soft and very warm. This is a very warm cardigan. So if it isn't 27 degrees, and you wanna get away with just doing a nice, nice chunky knit sweater, um, this is a really pretty one and a really good one and I like the contrast of the black with the off-white uh, or winter white. It looks really cute. Number two, so cute. It's got the hound's tooth print to it. It's got a hound's tooth pattern. Again, this is exactly the same skirt. This is just in leather. Let me bring you down. This is the exact same skirt little pockets with the same little buttons, the same pleating. It's just uh, in a houndstooth. Great style because it has that flared out so it doesn't, you know, stick to the hips, if you will. And the way that I paired this is I went with what I call uh, graphic uh, sweaters. And I, I talked about this in my favorites, frills and empties. I have it with the Dalmatians uh, on them and I think it's so cute. Now, could that be warm enough on some days? Yes, we've been having 70s and then we've been, you know, today's the high of uh, I think 45 or something. Um, so we need to elevate it a little. Well, we don't need to, but we're going to. I am wearing the opaque tights again. It gives a nice streamline. Now in this case, they're not the ribbed ones, they're the opaque. This is what they look like. Look how rich and black and dark they are. They're wonderful. They're the perfect tights, y'all. So I thought this gray on gray was very cute um, and adorable, but we want to, you know, we want to elevate it. So simplest way to elevate it is a blazer. Now, it sort of does have that schoolgirl-esque feel to it, but I think it's fun. Um, this is the blazer that I am sporting with it, and it's a beautiful blazer. It is thick. It is warm. It is gorgeous. This looks like a Chanel blazer, you guys. Um, I love the button detail. It's beautiful. It sort of mimics what's on the skirt. It go really well, and this is a heavy weight. I love it. I'll show you a picture. So let's say um, you have a pair of cute black faux leather shorts. I do. Uh, this is what I wore to Rhode Island um, out to dinner for my husband's 65th birthday. It looked elegant. I'm wearing leather shorts, but with tights, with some edgy shoes, or some edgy boots, and then this jacket. And it looked great. I was warm. It was, um, uh, it was just, 
an elevated look. And so um, I, I love a blazer. I love a great blazer. We've been doing a lot of black and gray and my last one will be black and gray, but the third one I'm gonna show you is actually a brown faux suede. I thought this skirt was stunning. First of all, it's super, super soft, high waist. It's fully lined. Um, and it's gorgeous. I mean, I just love the detail of the grommets, the gold grommets on there. It's beautiful and perfect for fall. I paired it come here, with a pair of Mark Fisher over the knee boots. I want to show you the difference in the color. So I just recently picked these ones up. I really like this uh, almost nude uh, I mean, we're going as nude as possible with this uh, boot, over the knee boot. These are wonderful. Mark Fisher's are very comfortable. This is what tan looks like. So I want to show you the difference. Could I have easily gone with tan? Yep. But I really liked the nude because I wanted to play, if I was, if I was doing, um, say, a camel sweater, I almost did that. A camel sweater and this that would make sense. But I wanted to do an off-white or cream sweater, so I went with a closer uh, boot color to that sweater. That sweater I've had for quite some time. I will try to find something somewhere I'm sure I can. And so this one, uh, it, the only reason that it's not my favorite is, again, I just feel more comfortable in tights, and I have to think about where I live. <laughs> That's the other thing, you guys. I have to think about where I live. The last one, y'all. Someone said this had been sold out, but it is not. It is now limited in size. Um, I've shown this one to you. This is really super edgy. I love it. High waist. It's got the faux leather, a full zip all the way up and down. Look at this little detail. I mean, this is so great for the holidays. I love the working zippers on each side. This is really, really cute. I, I really love this one, and I think it's going to look really cute for the holidays. This one, uh, what I did with it was... The off the shoulder, um, or one, yeah, I guess it would be one shoulder, that uh, beautiful black um, blouse, the one that I also have in red, um, that's what I paired it with. So it's definitely more edgy. Um, and uh, of course then, because, did I, which boots did I? These ones, I did do uh, these boots that I don't have a clue. So this one is definitely more date night. So these are the boots that I chose. I love these. I love that this goes with these. Um, over top of it, because obviously I'm not going out in fall in just an off the shoulder. This is a date night, is a drape moto jacket. Now this one I've had for quite some time. You need to find a moto jacket, if you're wearing one, that is proportional to the skirt. The skirt is higher, right? We're doing a mini skirt. So all I did was, because this leather is very beautiful, very soft faux leather, uh, it, I just fold it up. Do that. Do that with sweaters. Do that with cardigans. I did it with the, the pretty little cardigan. I folded it up. I showed it to you both ways. So you saw it long and then um, you saw that I folded in. It makes a difference. It's all about proportions. So in this case, if I had it down, it would cover too much of the skirt and the proportions from top to bottom would not be, um, not look as good. Um, so this is my edgy, my edgy date night look. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, will you take a minute, hit that thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.